Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. This bamboo grows fast. <coughs> okay. So, hi. How are you? I'm not feeling super well. I have a cold or something. Um, it's not COVID. I took a test. And, oops. Oh, we had llamas over here. I don't know where they wandered off to. And then I've got this llama here that I kidnapped. Hey, buddy. Hi. And then there's, there's a couple over here. <laughs> Their wandering trader got stuck in some powdered snow and died. And I think there was a creeper that got stuck in the powdered snow and died as well. Oh, did we just see? I think we did. We just saw, yeah, this bamboo grow. So I planted a little more along here. Just showing off some stuff. Um, hello. Um, and planted some more bamboo along here. I think it looks neat. I haven't really been farming it. That's been my bamboo farm over there. I don't have a lot of need for bamboo at the moment since I don't have a lot of string. So, yeah, so that's, uh, I need to do some harvesting here. Though the potatoes still need to grow in. Somebody come by. Somebody may have logged in and uh, grabbed some potatoes. Because oh. I harvested the potatoes and the carrots at the same time as the weed and all this stuff. So I bet Barb Mike's things came on by. Okay, nice. So, uh, oh, a couple things. Well, it's still... Oh, it's starting to rain and it's late. Um, we'll go inside in a moment. I added a waterfall. Goes all the way down to the lake because I wanted to be able to easily get down and up there. I planted some kelp down in the lake. I will probably yeah, spread some more. So let's go. I keep looking up here at that bamboo and thinking it's a creeper. It's not good. Okay. Inside. Um, oh, I added a, uh, I added something over here. I added trapdoors in between the door and the portal because I kept having zombie pigman come in and breaking this door and harassing my snow golem. Which isn't very nice. Now they can't get to him, so they weren't able to hurt him. So he was just throwing snowballs at them. They were getting angry at hit at them. And uh ah, so uh so I added those so they can still bang on the door. I, we'll see if they can break it down. I don't think they can. And then I opened up this and he still didn't seem to be able to walk through. So I think that works. Uh, <clears throat> and then let me show you, whoops, show you this. Um, I'm digging this out a little bit more. I still haven't entirely figured out exactly what to do with this space. I'll probably move the bed and make a little decorative bedroom and stuff down here. So I decided to take it down further. And then I made another layer and I built this. The world's smallest kelp farm. Also the world's slowest kelp farm. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Basically I dug a hole, put some dirt down, put a block of water in there, and then put some water up here, uh, flowing over so the kelp, the sits here and it, when it grows the observer detects the growth like that triggers that redstone triggers that piston and now i have 19 kelp in the in the thing i also put together this little auto bone meal thingy don't want to bone meal all of the kelp um i am actually interested in getting kelp for fuel but that is 
Uh, so it's super slow, but it just kind of a constant stream of kelp, constant slow stream of kelp. And then I was thinking maybe come down here. This would be the next level would be here. And then this would be another level down here. And I'm thinking I might just skip to this one and do a super tall level. Maybe we will see. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to bed. Uh, so I don't have a lot of plans today. <clears throat> said I'm feeling a little a little sick like I have a cold a little snotty it's not COVID I tested um, but I just feel let's go check on the BC's over at Barb's place I've been breeding up the cows and making books and chanting chanting them I've got 27 levels at the moment um, so I need a mob farm, or I need some sort of an experience farm. And that kelp farm is the first. Uh, is the first sort of automated thing that I built on this server. The cows all look grown. So let's, uh, let's make some more. I've been breeding up the chickens because I actually let some eggs. Not that I need eggs. Oops. Let's do this. This has been the best way that I've found to get experience at this point. Whoa, who am I stuck on? Just cows? Just cows. Breed the babies, I get experience, and then I kill the cows and I get experience. Okay. Then we can this. Pick up leather and steaks. for that. Oops, sorry, baby cow. cows in there and we can get some more wheat to breed some more that's fine so I went in did some caving streamed a little bit of that I don't know that I'll put any of that into a YouTube episode uh, just because it wasn't that exciting uh, but I feel much, now that I've got some decent, semi-decent armor, I feel much more comfortable caving. So I might go exploring around, oops, raw beef. Uh, exploring around a little bit, looking for some caves. And, oops, put these in there. And there are my stories. Oh, right there. There we go. So, there we go. Um, yeah, and I don't have... I put a little chest in here, so I have some books and such. And unfortunately, right now, I think my book and chants are... not great. Even if I had 30 levels, so... I need to do some other enchanting as soon as I get back up to 30 levels. Uh, anything else? I went... No. What time is it? Oh, you know what? I should grab 
a few things here. Let's grab a bed and a clock, a compass, just in case I get lost. And I have a bow and I've been killing chickens to get feathers to make some arrows. And we can wait. So much work just to leave the house. Um, I have wood stuff over here, right? Let's grab some fences just in case we want to stop somewhere. Tie up the horse. Um, oh. Oh, there's the other lead. Let's hook the llama back up to the thing. Get on the horse and we can go for a ride. Hi, llama. I love that I made this tunnel tall enough that I can ride through in the horse. So let's, uh, let's just explore a little bit. Last time I went around that way, let's head over over here, maybe. Let's see if I can get out of this forest before we head to the left. Hey, chicken. Oh, oh, here's that jungle. What's that beyond the jungle? I should have brought my spy glass. That was kind of dumb. There's a cave. Maybe I can go down in there. Oh, wait. Uh... <sighs> Thank you. It's kind of treacherous terrain with the horse. All right, let's see what we have up here. Uh, kind of looks like an island. Let's head over to that. Horse may not have been a great idea. Oof. More more jungle over there. Interesting. Oh, look. Oh, remember, I think there's that village over here, or is this a different? Oh, hi, Mr. B. Oh, that's a, actually, that's a different. Hmm. Illager outpost. Oh, and a uh, ruined portal down there. Okay, let me. Let me tie up my horse here. Okay. Not that I'm particularly emotionally attached to the horse, but... And the sun's about to go down, so maybe... If we get down the hill here... And... Huh. I wonder if that's the start of a cave or if somebody saw something and dug something out there. But this does not appear to have been loaded because that lava was just flowing down and now it's starting to burn things down. So let's uh, 
go down, we'll set up the bed, we'll sleep away the night. And then in the morning, go see if we can get anything out of the yellow drow post. Crossbow would be kind of a cool thing to have. Set up my bed. It's still early, yeah. And there should be a loot chest here, I think. Uh, there, oh, there it is. Golden apple. Oh, shoot. Okay, anything else worth? Fire protection boots, that could be kind of useful. A couple of obsidian, some iron. Oh, fire protection armor in general. Okay, where'd I put the bed? There it is. Okay, so I feel like that went reasonably well. He did not drop a... Uh, he didn't drop a, a uh, cross bolt, crossbow, uh, so that is not going to happen. But, let's see. I don't like having that lava there. I do have a bucket of water on me. Ah, it would help if I had a little more coordination. Okay, I hear somebody. I hear somebody else. Okay, don't run into that lava, but let's get away for a moment. Uh, there were a lot of guys there. Oh, yeah, this would be a better spot for the bed. I have plenty of arrows, so... Okay, let's eat while we're wading our way over there. Anybody drop anything useful? That's an XP. Let's go up a slightly different way because that way I was a little bit blind to the ambush. zombie too but that's not important right now Ooh, how do I get up there um on the other side of the lava I guess let's go over this way let's see if we can come up from the other side oh I heard somebody take damage so they're behind me Ooh. 
Thank goodness I have armor. Oh, over his head. Okay. Okay, he didn't drop a crossbow either. This is a problem. None of them are dropping crossbows. Do I have enough arrows for all this? And did they keep spawning? Ooh. Okay, so I have the bad omen effect right now. Oh look, crossbow. Where is it? Did I pick it up? Let's check. I got it. It's a little broken. So I got the bad omen. So I may have to go get some milk. I think that'll clear it. Otherwise, I, I don't want to trigger. I was planning on going into a into a village today, but I don't want to trigger a, a raid. I'm down to one arrow. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Okay. I heard. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, there's more than one. I'm okay. Wow, do they keep spawning up there? Uh, this is, that's actually, this is a bad situation. I need more arrows. Just don't have enough. Can I split them up? And I'm separated from my bed now. It's like, I think I could take them if they weren't all together. There's only two of them. And my armor's in good shape. I have a shield. Okay. Eat. And I wish I could pick up those arrows. Stupid squid. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's one more guy up. Oh, jeez. So maybe they do keep spawning. So I don't know how you mollify one of these if that's the case. Especially when it's perched up on a hill like that. And maybe I don't. Maybe not right now. Oh, right. Wrong way. <laughs> Um, I got blocks. I could just block up over here. Huh. 
Oh, hello. Okay, was that the guy that was standing up on the corner here? I think so. Just keep eating. Let's explore this a little bit. I've never been inside one of these. Um... Oh, oh, I got some arrows. String, arrows, dark oak logs. I don't really need the food or the logs, but why not? Okay, we're done here. That wasn't a particularly awesome loot chest given. Um, given how much of a pain in the butt those guys are. I have some arrows now, so I can always take some shots at them if I need to. Okay, bedtime. <laughs> I got the arrows sticking out of me. More monsters. Oh, hello. I haven't killed one of you on this world yet. Oh, man. Okay, is that all the monsters? <laughs> okay, excellent. All right, I think that we'll call that a successful adventure. Oops, let's get back on top of this hill. Hopefully I remember where I put my horse. Otherwise, as I said, I don't have a real strong emotional attachment to him or her. Did not discuss their gender identity. But given how this train has been, I have a feeling that, uh... oh, hello, nice cave. Nice empty cave, okay. And no ores. Oh, there's my horse. Very good. A 
let's eat because I'm a little hungry. And let's go home. 